What is up, champs and champ pets? We are back, and today we are starting a new series on the channel. It's going to be called 400 at 40. I am 40 years old, and I would really like to start throwing 400-foot golf shot accurate backhands. So let's get into it. Now, just like you, probably, uh, I've been stuck at about 300 feet. So over the next few videos, I'm going to be breaking down my form from scratch, starting with the arm, starting with from the top down. I'm going to be talking about the reach back, rounding, coiling. Now, the interesting thing about these videos is that I'm going to be using our new practice tool, the power sink. Now, what is the power sink? I've had this prototype for about two weeks, and the power sink is a wearable feedback device, essentially. It has a little metal strip in here under the lettering that clicks. And we're going to be implementing this click to help us get better at disc golf. So you can see in these couple videos here, I am not getting a full reach back. I'm not exactly rounding, but I am not getting a full reach back. This first video is from 2022. The second video is from this spring. So my form really has not changed. So the first step that I see, that I see is easy distance, easy power was my reach back. So the second that I got the power sync prototype a couple weeks ago, you know, I put her on and I went out at my house to the net in my backyard and started trying to work on it, you know, and I learned a few things that have really helped me. So let's go hit the net and let's start talking about how we're going to improve your reach back and help you stop rounding for good. As you can see in my form from a couple years ago and then from this spring, um, you know, I was getting about three quarters of a reach back and we really, really want to get that fully extended, get that click from the power sink and then, you know, start driving forward. When I first got the power sink and first started using it, I could not get the damn thing to click. And it took me a couple sessions to finally figure out why and to start doing it properly. I was just moving way too fast to even give my arm a chance to fully extend before I started moving toward the target. So I'm gonna give a couple examples here hopefully of what I was doing and then a couple shots of where I am now after using the power sink for a couple weeks. It might be a little bit difficult for me to uh, for me to recreate my old form. My muscle memory has actually happened really quick with this where it's pretty automatic for me now to get the full reach back but you know we'll give it a shot anyway. All right here's trying to do my old form. Too fast, not letting things develop. You know, does that look familiar? It probably does because I think it's a pretty natural pattern. You put a disc in someone's hand and say, throw it 400 feet. That's what they're going to try and do too much, too fast. All right. So now let's try, try one with the power sink with my new form that is more slowed down. Now it's far from perfect, but at least it's slower and I'm getting a full reach back. So you probably heard that click there. Hopefully, I don't know if it's going to come through on the mic. Nice click on the first shot. I don't know if you noticed, there was no click at all. It was too fast. So that's the difference. Just changing that one thing about my form, I would say has taken me from about 300 to about 330. So I think the power sink can really help you get better with your reach back, stop rounding. If you want to pick one up, they're available for pre-order now at puckconfling.com. It is late June, and I believe they will ship in, let's say, mid-August, but hopefully sooner. Something I haven't mentioned yet is to loosen up. That's one thing that the power sink really helped me with, is to realize how... Um, tight and how clenched I was really from my shoulder blade here on my throwing arm all the way through my forearm I was so tight and that's why I couldn't really get the click to happen at first was I couldn't click because everything I was like clenching everything all these muscles that 
they, they couldn't extend. A lot of disc golf is such a feel, especially the backhand, it's such a feel based learning process that I don't know how I would have learned without the power sink. Um, maybe I'm just not a good learner, um, but I really need the feedback. That's kind of why the um, solo works so well for me. And, you know, kind of why I created that was I need the feedback to know what I'm doing wrong. When I don't click, I know I was too tight. I know I was too fast. Till the next video where we're going to talk about the power pocket and how the power sink also clicks again when you hit the power pocket. Until then, we'll catch you later. Keep putting confidently. Keep throwing confidently.